everyone. Welcome back to this Christmassy Triforce podcast. Merry Christmas! I hope you're all enjoying yourselves and merry, filled with um, delicious Christmas roast potatoes. Merry Christmas! And and love. Uh, you've had all of the presents. Oh, actually, is that yet? Maybe not. Uh, at time of recording, uh, we just finished Jingle Jam, uh, so we are all exhausted. Uh, some of us are happy. Filled with the <laughs> some, <laughs> some of us are less happy. Uh, no, it's been very tiring for everyone here. Um, putting this thing on, there's a lot of different stresses and, and, and problems, but it's been it's been a great event. And we're really really proud. Is it done now? Uh, it's it's ended. This is today, the last sips. day that we're oh. today. Well, I, I I would like to. Uh, I I don't want to brag or anything. I don't want to big myself up. But uh, I, uh, I, Lewis, you'd asked me to set up. Um, a uh, a fundraiser thing, the Tiltify fundraiser thing for the Jingle Jam. I did, which I did, and uh, I set a goal for uh, to raise one hundred pounds, and uh, we blew that one. Very out optimistic of you. We blew that one out of the water. It's, it's <laughs> blew it out the water. Really? No, yeah, it's gone. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So good job, everybody. It was really good. Really nice. well done. Yeah. Thanks so much. Uh, you currently are the where are you? You're the twentieth biggest fundraiser. Sweet. God, that's good. So, uh, out of 20? Yeah. Uh, no, out of thousands of people who've oh, raised right, money. Oh, right, okay. I was going to say, holy crap. There's a few who've done better than you. Well, um, yeah, but... 19, it, by the sounds of it. 19, so, 19 so people. You could, you could try and up your numbers today if you wanted to. Well, you know? I'm, I mean, I try every day. Like, I, every, I'm hustling, like, all the time. Like, uh, I'm just plugging and plugging and plugging. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, how have you been hustling? Have you done anything special? Have you... Been in a bath of beans? Have you done anything stupid? Have you had your head shaved? No. Have Why you, have um, other done people any... done that? Well, no, but that's the tradition, isn't it? You know, when people raise money for charity, they do they go silly do a, things. A bath of beans. They tend to do a lot of running. A lot of people do a lot of running for charity. You know, yeah. I'm gonna run. I'm not a fan of the run. No. Do you know what I mean? I can't get behind the run. Running. I don't is, like running. Uh, shit. Yeah. I hate um, running. I hate I've, running. I've 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 spoken about this before. When I don't I don't like people's. I'm gonna get healthy, and you're gonna give money to charity. Yeah. Thing. I was like, watching. Uh, oh, I'm gonna eat vegetables every day for two weeks uh, for charity, guys. So, okay. <laughs> I was watching a documentary yesterday where uh, some some lads were doing some burglaries, and uh, the cops finally caught up with them. And uh, when they when they knew they their goose was cooked, they were running. They were running away down the street through the fields and stuff. And I just thought to myself, God, that's miserable, eh? Like that's got to be the icing on the cake. Knowing that you, you imminently you're going to be apprehended by an officer of the law, and you're probably going to be spending quite some time in jail for all of your crimes that you've committed, and on top of it all, you have to run like for a while, even knowing that it's futile, but you're still running. Mm. You, you know that feeling when you're just completely out of breath and you're panting and you're panicking and everything, and you, and you just know that no matter what you do, you're just gonna you're gonna get caught. God, that's do you, do you think right? that I mean there there must be because I watch some of these police shows. I know you do as well. There are definitely times when they're like, "Oh, we lost them." Yeah, like, yeah, there I, are. Yeah, they always. I wonder what the success rate is on they getting always, away. They, yeah, I wonder. I mean, I guess if you're in really good shape, you have a, a really good chance. But the problem is now they've got cameras everywhere. They've got yeah. you know, there there's lots of. Uh, you know, it's not just it's not just two guys in a in a in an Oldsmobile chasing you around the city. Right. They got lots of people involved. You know, if they if they know they want somebody, they'll they'll call in. You know, even just to go to somebody's house to serve a yep. warrant. There's like twenty of them. Uh, you know, in case things get hairy and they have to watch each other and check on each other and record each other and everything. And it's I think it's the, the CCTV as well, um, where it's like, we've got a shot outside the Marks and Spencer's on the high street. We can see the car here. Yeah. And then th this is a ring doorbell. We can see them turning right there. Yeah, it's wild the amount yeah. of cameras that they're that they've got. Because I had some police come and take our um we've got cameras at home and they came and took the footage away. Nah. Um, because they just needed the timing on when this guy drove past, and that's it. They just took that. And, yeah. You know, they didn't need to see it. They were like, right, that is his car. That's him in the car. That's all we need. Thank you. It's just building a storyline. Yeah, yeah. It, it, right. Like, that's why I think all these guys are like on the run and at large. Yeah. It's almost always they're just living in a hole somewhere. Like, yeah, you yeah. can't be anywhere near people. Man, oh man. You ever, yeah. um, you ever see aliens on your front doorstep or. Only at Halloween, mate. Only at Just Halloween. Just Halloween. 
<laughs> never you never seen any uh supernatural phenomena um occur in the uh in Have the you? middle of the night? Oh, a couple of times, yeah. <laughs> a couple of times, just yeah, a, you know, just usual few, stuff. Just just pretty 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 straightforward What'd stuff. What did you, you see? Know? Well, I saw a flash of light, uh, a, a, a glowing skull floating uh, in front of hmm. my my door. I I saw a man licking my doorbell for three hours mm -hmm. uh, straight standard uh, stuff really yeah it's all yeah just just normal stuff for for jersey the isle isle of jersey at what point do you call the police what is your what is your kind of not not related to what you've seen not not people licking your doorbell but in general what would you what would move you to call the police this I is think, to both of you i think the doorbell licking i probably would phone the police honestly really i, I yeah i find that very uh alarming behavior mm. uh, like i i get that there's you know probably some issues some mental uh illness there and stuff but i still did a guy actually lick your doorbell no no mm. i saw i saw this on reddit one time i see uh there's three hours of this man licking a doorbell like like he was <laughs> uh like he was you know maybe pleasure like like pleasuring a woman but it was a, but a doorbell it, it was a doorbell yeah, yeah. Door, like uh yeah, it was it was uh, it was There's odd. There's some terrifying mentally ill people out there. I wouldn't phone like I wouldn't phone nine 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 for it though. You know, right? I would phone you? the reception. Is it is it one one one? Is that the would other? You just one? get yeah. like a a mop or a brush or like try and push him away. Get away. <laughs> well, no, off. because this is not, this is happening in the in the middle of the night while you're sleeping. I know, but you just go down there and you push him. Like, oh, then again, there is this like paralysis. I had a nightmare last night, which was I woke up and I was convinced. That I'd heard my front door open, right? Right. And and I was like, oh my god, is someone is someone downstairs? Because you know, yeah, st stupid stuff goes through your head. You're like, is it is it a, is it a, just someone? Is it just someone coming in late, going the, in the wrong door? Yeah. Is it a, a someone in the corridor just leaning on the door because because I left it open? Did I leave it open? Is it a fan? Or did they follow me? Is, oh, can they get no. my help? You know, Jeremy. You know I like, do they know my? They know. Do they what, know my address? What, what was oh, my your God. first reaction, like, like uh, with being faced with somebody potentially intruding into your into your house? Like, what did you? I just, I just disbelieved that I it was happening. I was like, I can't. This can't. This, no, it's fine. I'm probably fine. I'll just listen. I'll just be stock still. Yeah, frozen apart from the sound of my heartbeat. You know, listening. I always feel like I would love to have. A panic room. Oh, panic room. That's okay, like, sure. that, that is that is very close to where I uh, am most vulnerable. So like, because I've got an ensuite bathroom with a lock. Yeah, right? yeah. So that's close enough. Okay, right? I could just run in there. That's a good idea too. If you can lock your bathroom, but then you have to be able to like behind the med medicine cabinet. You can press a button, and then a whole bunch of consoles will like come folding out of the wall. Transformer Ooh. stuff. Sure, 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 because sure. Because I sure. feel like you could really. Um, Almost like Home Alone, some intruders. You know what I mean? If you like, had a panic, if you room. could get onto like a PA system, turn on all the lights in the house, and start like blasting music and kind of make fun of them a lot mm -hmm. for being caught, saying like, "Hey guys, smile, you're on camera. Hey, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? What are you gonna take?" And like the music is blaring, like the cops have already been called, the alarm company is on their way, and everything. Uh, but like it deadbolts all the doors and they're stuck and you're like, oh, I'm not stuck in here with you. You're stuck in here with me. Ha ha. You can like laugh yeah. at them and stuff. I feel like that would be amazing. Right. Like I, I think I'd be tempted to pull it too, too often if I had a panic room. Like yeah. I'd hear uh, like an, a bird on the roof. I trank I'd, my family. That with could be a ninja. Time. And we'll yeah. get in the panic room. Yeah, and it's yeah. just nothing. Yeah. Or like the, there's a mouse in the house. We're all getting in the panic room. That would be my concern. Is I I would panic too greatly and yeah. too often. Yeah, I think house intrusion has to be one of the worst things that can happen to you. Not the yeah. worst, but it's up there. I think. Oh god, for, yeah, for traumatic scary. events that could potentially happen to you. And I know people who've been burgled, and um, yeah, they hate it. Yeah, it sucks. That's yeah. gotta feel like shit. Yeah. Everything feels dirty and yeah. Uh, awful. Yeah, somebody's been in you in your house and taken some of your stuff and. Even if you get it back, you just never feel the same again, you know? You'd just be, you'd always be worried, like, knowing that it's happened and yeah. it'll happen again and stuff. That's got to be That's pretty rough. if you want to get it back, you know? Yeah. So I, I was, um, speaking of weird noises and, and, uh, and, and spookiness and, and intruders, uh, I was at the office last night until about 11 o'clock. Right. 10.30, 11. Because it was, no one was out. Um, people were recording stuff or, or late streaming. And I was pretty tired. I did the art stream and I hadn't had a great night's sleep the night before. So I was just chilling, had some, uh, some takeaway for dinner. And then I was just watching YouTube 
Right. Um, and they've got full episodes of like Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, the ones oh. where he goes and fixes yeah. the kitchen, including back when he was in the UK, yeah. which are actually funnier. He's not as in character in those ones. He's a bit more just regular himself. Just normal, it, yeah. Yeah, they're quite funny. Um, but the air conditioning thing or whatever, the vents here or whatever, I swear to God, there's an alien of some kind living in there. Right. Because <laughs> the racket that these things make at night, when you're the only one in the office, it's like gong, ba 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 ba, scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Like just randomly. It's probably just glug 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 glug. It's probably just yeah. Like, and I water pouring Dav. and stuff. It's like why is the why is there water pouring? <laughs> right. Where is that coming it from? was it was properly spooky, but um. Might just I, be I, big rats. It, it's not rats. It's got some big it's hedgehogs much too in there. heavy. Yeah. And it's just the machinery doing whatever it does at night, yeah. doing it, but with no other noise, you know. Anyway, those Gordon episodes, full episodes, full episodes available on YouTube. Man, it's it's excellent. I woke up uh, early this morning because there's like everybody, like the baby was still asleep, um, but everybody else had woken up early and they were making a lot of noise and they they woke me up, but they didn't wake the baby up. So I was just guarding the baby while she was sleeping, as you do. And uh, I was watching, I was watching a POV of a top London chef doing yes, a busy a busy yeah. lunchtime at a restaurant in london and yes. uh man it was it was it's crazy how organized it's they all, yeah it's wild i didn't i could i couldn't have the volume on but um i was reading some of the comments and they're like oh my god i can't believe a kitchen where nobody is screaming at each other and this yeah. seems this is like heaven on earth but uh i i couldn't hear either way but the, just watching the whole thing is it's wild. I, I can't so I believe the, how much organization and... Uh, oh, it's crazy. The yeah. guy's name is Fallow. That's the one, yeah. Uh, yeah that's yeah, who yeah, I was yeah. watching. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, really good. I watch, I watch his stuff. It's really, really good. Really interesting, um, yeah. It, it's interesting how he... he Like like you said, there's, he's not screaming at people. No. Um, at all. I think, uh, obviously, for certain... I this turned on the volume a, restaurant. a couple of it's times not... and he was always just really calm. Like calmly yeah. speaking to somebody or asking for something or, or whatever. But it's not like a Michelin starred, no. super driven. I, I wonder if you've got to be a bit of a twat to, uh, to make that kind of restaurant. Because everything yeah. has to be perfect. Like yeah. it cannot be, oh, it wasn't our best. Like every single dish has to be perfect. Yeah. And you've got to drill that into people. So I think it's a bit different. But uh, yeah, no, it's, but, it was, it was, it was really, really interesting. I, it I, is good. I love how he just has this. You know, every once in a while, he'll just like arrange things, you know, yeah. he's just got like a minute, like in between what he's doing. And he'll just like, you know, wipe something or arrange it or whatever. There's one where he's eating whilst cooking, like he'll do the cooking, and then he'll stop and have a little bit of some beans and then go back to work. And he's just sort of eating his dinner whilst he's, uh, oh, he's, wow. he's doing the job. It must I mean, be really satisfying if you if you run a ship really tight and it mm. just all works right yeah you must you must have a tremendous sense of satisfaction at the end yeah of, end of very, the day very very competent yeah uh, do you know what well i was thinking just now um one of the best streams that we did in jingle jam was um although what i enjoyed the most was the who wants to be a millionaire oh <laughs> yeah that was a great stream that was a good and one so i wanted to um I, wanted, I thought we could do a little quiz, because I normally do a little quiz with my family on Christmas. Do it, bud. Quiz So up. I thought I'd do you, you two, and you each Quizzes. get to pick yes. a category. Okay. Right? okay. So uh, I'll flip a coin right. uh, to see who gets to start. Okay, you ready? Yes. Yeah. Uh, right, sips and period. One of you say heads or one of you say tails. Heads. Uh, you lose. P flat. Hooray! So sips, you can start. Uh, would you like? Congratulations, Sips. That's the quiz for this year. Woo! Sips. Uh, <laughs> you I win. Did. Uh, would you like? Uh, you've got a choice of categories. So pick a category: entertainment, celebrity, books and literature, history, geography, science, music, movies, TV, animals, sports and leisure, food or technology. Oh my God! Can you repeat the categories? There's so I'll many. Of them. In, I'll just I'll just put them in Discord. Sorry. Holy I should, I should, crap! I think we're gonna be here all day. God, sorry, uh, some of them sounded like you, they were like double categories mixed together. There we go. Entertainment, celebrity, books and literature, history, geography. I'm gonna science, have to rush you. Music, I'm sorry. Movies. I'm taking my time. Pick my category. I want to optimize my chances here. Just go TV trivia, dude. You watch a lot of. TV. All right, fine. TV trivia. Give it to me. All right. Sure. Okay. Which popular '90s TV show oh, oh. featured actor Callista Flockhart? Uh, it was uh, Ally McBeal. 
Yeah. It was yeah. Adam yeah. McBeal. Yeah. One one point. Yes. Um, yeah. Yes. All right. You'll go, P Flex. I'll Pick take I'll take movie trivia. Why not? You'll take movies. You're taking yeah. movies. Can we help each other? Okay. I mean, I, um, if you'd like, I don't mind. Oh, in help. what yeah. movie? I bet I can be really good help. Okay. Would uh, was uttered the phrase "You had me at hello." Oh, that was um, Jerry Maguire. It was. Oh my oh goodness! My you God. guys are that's a, that's guys a good really one. good at this. That's good. Uh, they're both the tricky questions. Those okay. were not but, difficult. Questions. I was going to say, <laughs> I, I thought it was as good as it gets, starring Jack Nich no. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. It was no. I it's uh, Jerry that. Maguire. It is, yeah. is one of the best sports Show movies me ever made. The money. Unfortunately, that great sports movie is buried deep within a terrible rom com. If I wish they'd taken the the good bits of Jerry Maguire out, stripped away the love stuff. And just had the sports agent stuff because that was really, really well done. Yeah, but uh, they didn't. Unfortunately, I wish they would replace uh, Renee Zellweger with, um, well, anyone, anything. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why she's become insufferable. She was in everything for a while, and, and then she, she looks just like she, she looks like she's sucking on a Sour Patch Kid <laughs> at all times, <laughs> and, is, and asleep, and and she's like asleep, asleep and bitter. Too. Yeah. Mm. All right, next next one. No um, hate, Renee. No, no yeah, hate. No, hate we love you. Pick a pick a category. Oh, I can't do the oh, same shit. one. No. no. Oh wait, so are those ones crossed off now? They are, but I will. If we run out, I'll get, we'll, we'll let you do it. But again. there's only thirteen. Okay, categories. give me celebrity <laughs> trivia then, please. Celebrity <laughs> trivia. Here we go. Yes, here we go. It's my. I forte. think the answer is okay. Jordan. Uh, Johnny Depp, notably modelled Jack Sparrow, his memorable character from Pirates of the Caribbean. After which rock guitarist? Oh, it was uh, Keith Richards. Yeah. It, it was very much. Well done. Yes. Well done, Sid. Well done. Yes. I'll take science. Uh, will you? Yeah. Okay. I'll help you science. with this one. Thanks, brother. I'm a bit of a scientist. <sighs> which blood type is the universal donor? O negative. <laughs> you guys are great oh at this. God, You're doing great. I didn't know That's that. my blood type, so I know that. Oh, you know this. Oh, wow. This. I, I, I don't again, even I know didn't my know, blood type. Jeez. Didn't know these answers. You guys are killing it. Yeah. This is competitive. It's too all. You don't even know your blood types. I, I keep forgetting mine as well. I, I, it's not one Mine's of those. Mine's like C plus or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> right now, yeah. <laughs> Mine's uh, twenty eight percent proof. Actually, <laughs> <my blood. laughs> it is after this jingle jam. He flexed him out. You guys have been drinking. Good grief! Duggan has basically just pickled himself completely yeah. this, this holiday. Uh, he drank an entire bottle of a, of rum. I feel like Duncan is the Keith Richards of the Yogs cast. Yeah, on the topic he really is of Keith Richards. Yeah, yeah. We, I bought him a really expensive bottle of rum for Christmas, and he bought he drank it all during the Civ stream. Wow, the whole thing. It was mental. He's a machine. Yeah, it was. A, don't ever try and do that. I would it's, be hospitalized I mean, if I, I did that. I did help, to be fair. Oh, right. and uh, and he and he gave a bit to uh, Spiff and Potato. But my God, it was still a in, so insane amount of of alcohol. Um, all right. Next up, Sips. What you got? Give me, um, um, give me entertainment trivia questions, please, Alec. Okay, and en en entertainment. Sure, 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 sure. You got um, the 1988 movie Mystic Pizza. Yeah. Launched the career of what pretty woman? Oh, Julia Roberts. <laughs> the the giveaway was the pretty that woman. Was that was too Jeez. easy. No, that was that was a uh, oh my god, that saved me. <laughs> I scared you. When there, you said didn't Mystic I? Pizza, I I was racking my brain. I was like, oh my god, what the fuck is that? Mystic Pizza. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not. It's not as uh, not as hard as you thought. No. Right. Um, All right. Let Let's go deep. Let's go books and literature. Okay. You sure? Yeah. All right. Cool. Um. Because it'll be, which bear has a friend called Piglet? It'll be something like that. Actually, it is The Da Vinci Code oh. opens with a murder in which museum? Oh, the Louvre? It is, it is yeah. the Louvre, oh yes. Oh my god, I would never have gotten that. You are all yet to get one wrong. I'm gonna get, this is it now. That, Flax getting that one right, it's all hard questions left. Like I don't even know. Okay, give Hard me, categories. give me, give me, uh, give me animal trivia, please. <laughs> <laughs> Not a. Oh, it is a category. I thought you'd made that one up. This is a hard one. How many legs does a lobster have? Um, it's got. I feel like it has six. I'm sorry. The correct answer is ten. Fuck. That is the first question we've had wrong Fuck. on this quiz. So that is a that's. You, this I, is I devastating. Don't know if I would have known that. Is a lobster really an animal? 
<laughs> would you <laughs> would you have known that uh no uh, i P-flex? wouldn't i would have said six as well because i don't know i mean yeah it makes Damn. sense I'll, i'm gonna go with uh let's go with geography okay cool geography sure um where oh, oh okay this was too tricky which well, Italian... well, don't, don't be dad and tell me it's too tricky. Six legs, okay. six legs and where, two clamps, surely. Where is, the, where is the coldest place on Earth? And I need a compass direction as well. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. The coldest place on Earth. Well, presumably the, the very bottom of the Mariana Trench is pretty nippy, but uh, South Pole. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm afraid it's not the coldest place on Earth. Oh, the coldest my God. place on Earth is the eastern Antarctic Plateau. Oh. Oh, you wanted a... Okay, all right. Well, I I I was going to give you... I was going to... I was... I I did think that was too hard. Google Maps coordinates uh, 55 longitude uh, 20. It is actually at the South Pole, just saying. The Eastern Antarctic Plateau is at the South Pole, is it? Well, I guess. I don't think it is. Is it? I don't know. Just to the east of it. Oh, it does include the region of the geographic South Pole. Ah. So. Can you get it like half a point for that? I'm going to give you half a point. Oh, Oh, come on. That is. (laughs) You just. (laughs) You just. There's no justice in this world. (laughs) I only gave it to you because you you, you were being generous. I I know. I I I was thinking out loud, you know, I was just. All right, Sips, you're going. What are you going to pick? Um, give me uh, music trivia. I pr- I didn't I didn't notice this one actually. Holy I'm crap. surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised, I'm surprised you didn't pick this earlier. Uh, which actor and comedian appeared in the video for the Paul Simon song Chevy you Chase? Call me yeah, out. it was Chevy yes, Chase. It was Chevy Chase. Wow, you guys are killing this. Who's, I did who's not know that either. Possibly hard to work with. Call I've never heard a good story out, about Chevy. Call me. Yeah, apparently hated by universally Absolute by dickhead. everybody who's ever had to deal with him. Yeah. Is that Old true? Yeah, yeah, no, it is true. Just the man right. has an ego that you could P-flex. not contain. Yeah, go on. Uh, I will take uh, history. How old was Queen Elizabeth when she was first crowned Queen of England? Oh my God, man. Mm. Let's go for 17. Oh, no, well, you, no, you, you don't You're right on the seven, but she's 27. Oh. Yeah, I was, she was in her 20s. I didn't know okay. it was 27, though. I couldn't have been much help there. I, th- I would have said 25. So for the first time, Sips is now in the lead oh. by half a point. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. And uh, we've got a couple more questions to go. Do technology, bud. Um, yeah, give me technology, please, bud. Okay, sure, sure, bud. Well, for technology, eh, bud? <laughs> I love my technology, bud. This is a this is a difficult question, but apparently this is the right answer. What is the meaning of the FN button on your computer keyboard? Um, it means fucking A. It means. <laughs> Uh, it's a function button uh, to uh, change the uh, output of the math. That's right. Thank you. It is the function button. Yes. Well done. You got it. We got it. Uh, I'll take uh, sports and leisure. Eh? Will you? Eh? All right. Well, okay. So <clears throat> I would like to know the name of the stadium <gasps> where the first Olympics was held. Oh, oh it was in Paris, I think, wasn't it? Um. Oh wait, are we talking the first Olympics the as OG, in like you want you want the Greek, the, the Greek one, yeah. Uh was it called S- Zeus Memorial Stadium? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Apparently, the, the Olympic Stadium. Something. Apparently it was called the Panathenaic. The Panathenaic. That's a stadium. tough one. Okay. You, that, that is a I tough one. I feel like isn't sports it? and leisure could have maybe had a, a question more like, you know. How good was Beckham or something like that, you know? How good was Beckham? How good? Oh, very good. <laughs> very, Correct. Yes, well done. <laughs> How was good was really Beckham? Really good. <laughs> okay, and then we got two, two more before we go into round two. Oh, yeah. um, there's a second round? Oh, yeah, bud. Wait, what are we so, missing then? I, so far, I can only see science. Food? Oh, food. Okay, uh, I'll take food, please. Okay, so food. Which fast food chain used to use the slogan, think outside the bun. Think outside the bun. Think outside the bun. Why would you want yeah. to think outside the bun? What, well, what fast food? Consider that. What or fast have a, food have a, restaurant have a think about. might have had have something about 
outside of the bun. Well, it's more, you know, think think differently to the bun, you know? <sighs> don't you don't use a bun maybe. Forget the bun. You don't use a bun. I'm going to say gonna like Arby's it. or something like that. I'm oh. going to I'm going to guess Taco Bell. Oh, P Flax, you're not allowed to steal, oh. but it is Taco oh, Bell. Oh yeah. man, I forgot about Taco Bell. Jeez. For that one, right? And the last question that hasn't been picked is uh, one, it's two, three, four, science. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12. Oh, it's, there's an odd number. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's, th there's 13. You didn't take science, though, did you? Because I So in that case, yeah. you get a wild card pick. Uh, uh, I'll take movies again. Okay, sure. Movies, I can help movies. you with this one. Okay, thanks. Bud. Well, no, you can't. You can't. It's not how this works. You can't just <laughs> step in and help out. Which Minnesota town? Oh, come on! Fuck me! Come on, man! Was, <laughs> was actor Winona Ryder born in? What the fuck is in Minnesota? Uh, oh, was it the town of Winona? Correct. Oh, oh come <laughs> on, man! Well done. Oh my god! Great fucking well That's done, good. dude. I would have just said uh, Green Bay. I, I feel like everyone is from Green Bay in Wisconsin. It's not a town, though, I guess. Charles more, Bronson. Green Bay, Wisconsin, <laughs> baby. Okay, so the halfway point, Sips, you're on five. Right. P-Flex, you're on four and a half. Oh, my God. Oh. And hopefully I'll be keeping track right. If not, uh, there'll be a, re a revolt in the Triforce Reddit. There'll be a big um, punch-up, yeah. This Christmas, when you give someone a gift, you want them to enjoy it immediately. There's no long setup or batteries required or assembly that makes anyone frustrated. There's so many reasons that I love Aura Frames, but honestly, like the quick setup might be my favorite. I set mine up out the box. You start by downloading the Aura app for free, which takes no time to get the frame ready. And then you can set it to your Wi-Fi and get pictures uploading immediately. All your grandparents have to do is unbox the frame and plug it in. Super simple. Wirecutter called it the best digital picture frame. It's such a great gift, even for the most tech unsavvy people in your life. That's me. I'm the most tech unsavvy in my whole life. I do love my aura frame. Like genuinely, we uh, we we gave them to to everyone. Um, so my sister's got one, my mum's got one, and we could just like share pictures of the kids to it. And that like that's grand that's grandparent crack right there. You know what I mean? They love they're just that. like they're sitting there and suddenly new pictures pop up oh. and it's their grandkids. They're like, oh look at that, I'm so lovely in their school uniform. And then you get a WhatsApp <laughs> message or a Facebook message saying, just received this wonderful picture of my fabulous granddaughter, <laughs> and they're happy and you're happy, and it's minimal effort. It that's is that's the way I put it. Minimal effort. That's the key, is the minimal effort. It's Everybody minimal loves effort. minimal effort. And it is it is genuinely very easy to set up. So uh, I, I we love the Aura Frame. Thank you so much. Give the perfect gift this holiday season by visiting AuraFrames.com today and get $30 off their best-selling frames with the code TRIFORCE. That's A-U-R-A frames.com, promo code TRIFORCE. The frames sell out quickly, though, so get yours before they're gone. Terms and conditions apply. On with the show. Round two. I didn't actually keep track, but... You're going to now answer the questions from the categories that your opponent picks. That's round two? Yeah. Yes. So, so Flax picked movies twice? Yeah. Yeah, so you yes. get to answer for movies twice, I guess. All right. So originally, Sips, you picked TV? Yes. Is that where we started? Yes. Um, P. Flax. Yeah. Who won the first season of America's Next Top Model? Fuck. Oh, um, man. I, I have no idea. I've, I've watched this show before as well, and I have no idea. Let me think. Tyra Banks was the host who won America's Next Top Model first season. This was some time ago. Are you on your phone? No. Okay, I was going to say. Um, you want me to get on mine? Um, gosh, let me think. Uh, let's, let's just say maybe it was someone who subsequently went on to do something else. I guess it would have to be about 30-something by now. Uh, I'll just fucking say, like, do a leaper or something. It was a Adrienne Curry Road. Oh, of course uh, it was. Of course it Damn was. It. I didn't know who that is. Curry Road. Curry Road. That's the state of my toilet the other night. <laughs> 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 Fuck it up. Uh, and then what did you pick? I can't remember. Uh, um, I, I think I ch I think Sips was like TV. Yeah, and we'll then you movies. You'd pick we'll movies. movies. Yeah. Yeah. As your first right, category. Sips. In what year was the first Batman comic book? Published and I will take uh, five years left and right. Oh man! So, Nin what year was the first Batman comic book published? Nineteen sixty-five. 
I'm afraid it was 1939. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, before the, well, the yeah, year that's the a, war broke out. Well, wow. that's that's not, I did not I did not know that. Okay. Well, that's, that's you. I feel like Batman, oh, I guess it would have made sense that it came out much earlier because the, the comic wouldn't have come out in the same era as the original um, TV show, right? The TV show, the the, the Adam West No, that was in the, the 60s. That was it? in the 60s, yeah. yeah. Now, Sips took entertainment, so P-Flex, you're going to have to do that. Okay. Um, Hit me. Whitney Houston went to the top of the music charts in 1992 oh, with man. which Dolly Parton song? I can help you, Flax. You want some uh, help? No, let me, let me try and get there. Um, let me think of a Whitney Houston song. 1992, that might have been The, the Bodyguard. Uh, yeah. So is that the I Will Always Love You, that one? I can't remember what it was called. It is. Okay. Well, you got I think there. Six was going to bust I, it out. I, I, was, I, I will <laughs> always love you. Wow, that's, that's great good. stuff. Who okay, sung it so, better, Flax or Dolly? <laughs> so that puts uh, P Flax ahead, briefly. Um, five and a half to five. My, my big Batman blunder has cost me the quiz. You get another movies question, Sips. Okay, um, hit me. So, actor Nicolas Cage yes. is a nephew, nephew of what famous director? Oh, man, I don't know, actually. Nicolas Cage is the nephew of... What's he been in a lot of movies? Francis Ford Coppola. It is, yes. How did nice! you know? How I don't know. You I know? totally guessed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How did you know that? I did not know. Oh wow. Fucking hell. Holy this is, shit, it's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas. It is just, indeed. You just witnessed a Christmas miracle. You I pulled that one directly one. out of my ass. I Hail did not know. Santa. You yeah. did it. I think Sips did Animal. So give me animals. Yeah, I did animals, and I got a lobster He got the question. lobster when he got fucked by oh, a lobster. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. bad. Okay. Um, what is the state bird of Florida? Oh, come on, man. Oh, uh, gosh. The state, state bird, bird of, Florida. of Florida. Oh, wait, maybe I don't know this. I, I might be thinking it, of a fish. Maybe it's like the bald eagle, I don't know. Um, hmm. oh, did you say Florida? Of Florida. Oh, Florida. I was thinking California. Sorry. Um, flamingo. It is the um, Northern Mockingbird. Of course uh, it is. Of course that question is mocking me. I would have taken the yeah. Mockingbird. At least it's a bit more of an animal question than the one I got, yeah. but there you go. <laughs> In what way? Well, it's I tricky. don't know. It's a lobster. Tr tricky, tricky question. <laughs> like I alien. thought that how many legs does a lobster have is, is pure animal. Mine is also about American fucking state birds. Who fucking knows that shit? Yeah. Would you like another one? No. I would like one that was less American-centric. Don't find like a too easy animals. one, though, because Fine. the lobster one yeah, was give me, a real... Give me a good tricky animal, one about what animals. What colour is a giraffe's tongue? Black. Wrong, it's purple. Oh, oh well, it looks black in certain light. That Come was on. a real animal question. That's a good okay, animal question. That was a real animal good one. question. Fine, alright. I'll try That's and a good real one. animal. Also, a uh, little bonus question, no, not for points. What animal breathes through its butt? Uh, it's a hippopotamus. No, no, uh, it's, um, it is. It's a, a. It's that monkey with platypus. The, it is a turtle. Oh, oh hello. Oh, like an underwater turtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not oh. a tortoise. It's not like Terry. No. I thought you might know anyway. No, uh, no I didn't all right. know that. So who's next? Um, Sips, I guess, again. I'll take hippopotamus questions for trivia for <laughs> right? 200, please. <laughs> I mean, you've already got one of them wrong. I uh, know. <laughs> I want to continue the streak. Did you, did you, did you, Sips, did p -Flex take history? Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, he did. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which president was also a licensed bartender? Oh, man. It has to be Jimmy Carter. It was, in fact, Abraham Lincoln. Shit, oh, yeah. I would have never have gotten that one. Oh, you're not supposed to get the ones that you are, are against your category. So. Yeah, true. I yeah. think uh, music was one of Sips's. Yeah, I took music. Oh, yeah, music. It definitely was. All right. Um, what are the first names of the five brothers in the Jackson Five? You got, oh, you got Michael. This, is, this is an interesting one. You got Michael. You got Tito. Yes. Um... You got uh, Steve, Barry, and Dave. Oh. <laughs> oh, so close. It's actually Steve, Barry, and Brian. Oh. <laughs> it's actually Jermaine, oh, Marlon, Jermaine, and Jackie. I did not know Marlon and Jackie, but uh, I, I, would, Marlon, give I, would, 
I would have given you half point if you got one more. I think Jermaine was in Celebrity Big Brother, actually. Yeah, I think he might have been. Oh, God, the Jacksons had a lot of kids, man. Yeah. I, I thought I had a lot of kids. The Jacksons. Yeah, dude. I mean, and also, my amount they ran out of kids. names. They called one Jackie Jackson. Jackie, like, fuck Jackie off. Jackson. And they had Latoya and Janet and Michael. Yeah. And they're like, oh, my God. Tito. Jermaine. Tito. Fucking hell. That's a lot Did of kids. Did they name him after the dictator, do you think? I don't know. Tito, Tito Mussolini, you mean? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, period. Now, Sips, you're on. You did. You did. Uh, you did. You did. You did technology, and you also did food, didn't you? I did technology and food. Yeah. So I guess you. I have need to do, do sports. sports and leisure. Yeah. Okay. Who was the highest paid athlete in 2022? So, so last year, oh, not this year. Um, Who was the highest paid athlete last year? Uh, it's Messi. World? Messi. It is Lionel Messi. Yeah, I knew it. Pulling ahead. Oh, Flax would well have gotten that one Sips. easy. I might have said Ronaldo because he went to um, the Middle East. Oh. Um, so I thought he might have made more money there. Oh, you thought it was a trick. <clears throat> but yes. Messi makes a, makes a lot of money. It wasn't He a does trick. make a shit ton of money, yeah. He probably, he probably need a cargo container um, for, ship for his moolah. for all of his money. For, yeah. for food, you need to get this one. Right. If you gave him what all is... of his money in pennies, <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh my god, man! I don't think you could. No, I, think I don't that, think I, you could. I don't think they made that many pennies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, <clears throat> um, what is the name of the world's hottest chili pepper? He flex. Oh, isn't it the? Oh, I don't know if it's the Carolina Reaper or the Ghost Chili. I'll go with the Carolina Reaper. It is the Carolina oh, Reaper. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Flex. Very confidently answered. Very good. You're back on top. Well, you're not. You're half a point behind. But don't worry, because Sips oh. now has to answer another question. I think he has to do geography. Oh, yeah. Geography. Yes. Which Italian town mm -hmm. is the setting for Romeo and Juliet. I, it is, um, um, oh, um, it is, uh, oh, fuck. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Naples. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it is actually Verona. Verona. Uh, fuck it was, I was thinking, I was thinking something with a V and I, and I was just like stumbling. I couldn't pick. I think it, that was a good my guess. Verona. That was a good guess. Oh, just a very quick, uh, very quick question for both of you. No mm. points, of course. Which state is known as the Badger State? Um, mm. Which state is known um, as the Badger State? One of our favorite states. Wisconsin. It is Wisconsin. Thank you oh. so much. You, the, oh, well, the giveaway was our favorite. So I could have yeah. said Pennsylvania. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I get a point for that? No. no. I thought that was a bonus half a point. point behind. That was he a bonus question. No oh, for there no, no points. points. That was just for fun. That was just to um, flex a little. <laughs> half a point behind, P Flex. You've got, right, you've got to fuck your ideas up. So, <laughs> how many have we got left? Books and literature. Who did that before? That was I Flax. Been, I did that one. Yeah, Flax. that was a Flax one. So, There's sips. a celebrity. I haven't done any celebrities. That's Flax's yet. turn to answer, though, isn't it? Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is. Um, celebrity trivia. Yeah, Here go we go. On. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm terrible at this. Okay. Uh, which Oscar winning actor was a cast member on the 70s show The Electric Company? Oh, I, I loved that show. Oscar winning actor was on the electric company. I'm trying to think who it could have been. This was I watched this show back in the 70s. Who was on it? Oh, he fuck. was one of the original cast. Okay. Hmm. He played a smooth. Hipster. I'll go for let's go for um Morgan Freeman. It was Morgan Freeman. I Come gave on, you, I gave you too much. I gave you too much. Did they? What, with a smooth, smooth hipster? You got it? You got it. Well done, forget. Are you well done, serious? Forget. I was thinking of an actor that has won Oscars, but was also around in the seventies. I was going to oh, go with Samuel L. Jackson. I didn't but think he you were going to get that. And you, well done. God, well done. So, next question, Sips. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is the largest bone in the human body? Uh, it's the uh, femur. It is very good. And P. Flex, who was the first author to use a type machine or typewriter when they wrote their manuscript? Hmm. What was the manuscript called? <laughs> um, I, I can't really give a I can't really give it without unless you want me to give a little. No, hint. no, 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 no. Let me see. imagine Time saying writer. my camp in German. 
Please don't let it be be Adolf Hitler. That would be no. Such a, he's, it's not. I, I would imagine it was written in around no, no, yeah. I was 1884. Say, oh, okay. Uh, let's uh, hmm. Let's think. I, so I think Frankenstein was written. Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein, but I don't think she wrote it on a typewriter. If I remember right, say like, Bram it Stoker. Notepad. It's probably Bram Stoker. Could have been someone like that. Let's, I'm going to go with Jules Verne. Come on. Oh, good guess. But it's actually Mark Twain. It was actually oh, Bram okay. Stoker. I can't believe it. <laughs> and that puts Sips one point ahead. <laughs> a half point ahead. Half a Are point. Are there any more rounds left? Are there any more rounds left that we haven't duplicated? Yes, I think there are. Science. We haven't, you haven't done science, have you, I six? think I just did science, did I not? Oh, you just did science. That's true, you just did. I just aced science, actually. What about technology? I didn't you get didn't, a technology question. Yeah, Flax question. didn't get a technology question. And if he gets it right, he wins. Uh, no, if he gets it right, you get a question. How about that? Because you, you haven't answered one, have you? Sure. Yeah, give me a technology All question. All right, fine. Okay, so you need to win this. If he you gets, get if this gets right, this right I get to pick my category as well. Yeah, yeah, that's sure. fair. That that's is fair. fair, yeah. Okay, so what movie inspired the name for the iPod? What movie? Yeah. The Invasion of the Body Snatchers? No, it was iRobot. No, it can't be iRobot. That wasn't a movie, that was a book. I'll give you a clue. It the, the movie has the year that the iPod came out in it. 1984. 1985. No, the iPod came out in the 2000s. <laughs> 1986. <laughs> I mean, it can't be iRobot. You, why would they say movie? No, it's not. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help, but also throw you off so, so I can win. I was thinking Body Snatchers because they called them the pod people. But I think the iPod was like 2004 or something like that. Yeah, it must have been. Maybe, maybe 2006. So with, maybe it's uh, 2001 uh, Space uh, Odyssey. Well done, Sips. That is it. Nice. Why is it 2001 <laughs> A Space Odyssey? Well, it was called the E-Pod in that, in ah. that um, movie. But you said that the film came out the same year as the iPod. No, I didn't. I said, you fucking I said, said I that. Didn't say the, I didn't say it came out the same year. I said I love how name. you gave us the answer, pretty much. So the, it, it, the iPod came out in 2001. Oh, did it come out in 2001? iPod, iPod came really? out in 2001, yeah. Okay. 2001. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure well, in 2001 apparently. I was still using that big uh, creative MP3 player that looked like yeah. a Discman. You know, and it had like a I full had a creaking hard drive in it and stuff i had a a, a mini disc player oh there was, you remember those fancy. little mini discs yeah it was yeah, like a, I always a tiny one, cd inside was, a case it was too expensive they had, uh, oh, they didn't uh, the, the the psp playstation portable um it had, had, had those, those little tiny discs yes. too whatever happened to that is it still they're gone it just long got, gone, re got replaced by like uh memory like the ipod just didn't need discs yeah like that was it and then now and then phones started getting smartphones and everything so it's like you don't you didn't need a disc yeah but what about and, what uh, about psps though that like nobody has them or uses them anymore right they're just uh, they outdated. weren't particularly good they uh. weren't particularly good it was okay but i mean it was like again you have to lug around a bunch of discs yeah i mean the, the switch you still have the little cartridges yeah but they're tiny they're very very small you can carry like, you can download tons of stuff now too don't, yeah. you don't have to have the cartridges, but yeah, um, the iPod when that came out, it was that was fucking revolutionary. Yeah, I had a Creative Nano as well, the little oh, nice. like iPod looking one. I had like an iPod Nano, one. oh, the little witty one, um, and that was quite good. Yeah. And the uh, there was an iPod Mini as well. Yes, it's because the Nano was literally about an inch on a side. Yeah, and just had a play and pause button. You used to be and able to get one of those like uh, pocket protector things, but it went on your sleeve. You could put it in. Right. You couldn't get more than like an album on that thing, though. Yeah, actually. it didn't the have iPod, a lot of memory. The iPod it was Nano. Ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, no, I think you could get more than that on there. But you could use, people used it while running. Oh, yeah. am I thinking of the even smaller one? There was one which was like there literally was a, there, an inch. There's a creative pebble. I had a pebble. It was like a little a tiny, pebble. it looked, it was like the size of a little pebble. It had one button on it to, to basically yes, start that's it. that's what I'm and thinking And it of. could fit about 30 songs on it. Pebble. 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 Well, there we go. That was the quiz. Did you like the quiz? Yeah, I well love the quiz. Yeah, the, so Flax wins. Then we got the answer at the end. No, no, you, no, you, you won. I lost, brother. You got the, you got the answer. So, so you won. That wasn't a question the... for me. I was helping Flax to win, though. I know, but he got it wrong. Therefore, what, you, you win by a half a point. Oh well. Well, no. Oh, oh, well. well, no. What you saying? You helped him get the question right. So what? Now you need a question. No, no, I don't need a question. No, I'm happy we, with. I'm gonna give you a fucking question, Sips. But, Just give me a. Can category. I have a normal I'll... question, maybe instead of a fucking? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess I can give. I guess just yeah, a normal one. Okay, fine. Yeah, hit me. I'll, I'll answer. It's question. your prize. Yeah, this is my prize. Okay, I'll um, pick a category. I'll take music, please. All right, your prize is you get to answer a question about music. Yes, oh, this is it's amazing. Which nineteen fifties crooner 
Yes. <laughs> Sang the hit song Under the Sea. Um, Under the Sea. Dean Martin. Oh, that's the only crooner I could think of as well. No, it's Bobby Darren. Bobby, Bobby Darren. Darren. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> My name's Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Bobby Darren. <laughs> hello, hello, Bobby. Oh wow, he was only thirty-seven when he died. I wonder what oh, he wow. People used to live fast and die young back in those days, didn't they? Yeah. He failed to take antibiotics to protect his heart before a dental visit. He got sepsis and died. Oh, oh my wow. god, man! What the heck? Maybe that's why people are so scared of dentists. I never. Realized his last wish in his will was that his body be donated to science for medical research. And was so, it? Well, presumably, because sometimes I mean, sometimes people put that in their will, and that is their wishes. But like the family yeah. step in and are like, "You are not doing cutting this him up to Bobby. Some body. fucking student. You were not would be like cutting up my <laughs> Bobby. But especially because he was still very at the like height of his fame. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd imagine that you're a first year medical student. And they're like, oh, today we're going to do dissection, so uh, reach into the vault and grab a cadaver each. <laughs> uh, I've, got, I've got Bobby Darren, yes? I'd like you to reach into Bobby Darren's head and uh, <laughs> Feel Bobby's extract brain his there. brain. Take his brain out. <laughs> Hold up Bobby Darren's brain. <laughs> oh, that's so fucked up. <laughs> Poor Bobby. Oh, that's a disaster. Yeah. God, people, I mean, I think it looks like he was sick for his life, for his whole life, actually. Yeah, so yeah it wasn't it's unfortunate. Like, um, unfortunate. Yeah. It wasn't, Not it wasn't a well drugs or a, or a plane crash like many of them went out those ways. I mean, God. What, was, Bob, was Bobby Darren the guy that sang, uh, Don't Worry, Be Happy? Well, he sang Under the Sea. I don't know. Don't worry. No, that was... Yeah, that was him, no? That was Bobby McFerrin, I think. <laughs> Different Bobby, he, sorry. Bobby Darren is white. Got my Bobbies mixed up. And Bobby is black and still alive. <laughs> oh no. Just a... <laughs> sorry, Bobby. Bobby's, Bobby's, Bobby's mixed different. up. Oh god. You guys were really impressive with your trivia knowledge, actually. Well, we're old. Was... We're old, yeah. by the way. And trivial. So. <laughs> yeah, true. We were thinking of, because we were thinking of doing the chase this year, instead of, um, that was the original plan. Right. It would be... You know how that the format of that TV show? I never watched it actually. No, I don't really. I'm not super familiar. They run away, right? They have a like a team of expert hunters that monitor them and and chase them around, right? It's something like well, that. Well, no, it's, it's oh the chase. You mean like the the game show one? The, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, what, what what's what's the I one? think you were thinking of the show Hunted. I think it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quite different to the the, ch the chase the game show I got mixed where they're up. all in the same room for the I whole hour. I love it if you turned up to be on. On the quiz show. Yes, yeah, I'm here for thinking. the chase. Yeah, I'm and they're like, okay, you better get running. <laughs> I've got disguises and everything. I'm ready. <laughs> just answer the questions, like, please. No, no, no. It's just quiz questions. So they have like I think six of these um, qu professional quizzes. Is the, the chase is the one that's hosted by the guy uh, who used to be Bradley. On... Bradley Walsh. That's the Bradley one, Walsh yeah. is awful. He is. Yeah, he is. He is, he is awful, truly. But that's you know what do you do. He, he he knows what he, he he's been doing these fucking quizzes forever, hasn't he? Yeah. He used to do Wheel of Fortune back in the day. It's, it's his whole life he's been doing daytime quiz shows. He was on EastEnders for a while, wasn't he? Was Bradley Walsh on as well? What was that other? Yeah, Bradley absolute Walsh, absolute dickhead that was on EastEnders. He was a guy. It's no, Shane you're thinking Ritchie. Ian Beale. Shane, no, I'm thinking of Shane fucking Ritchie. Oh, Shane yeah. Ritchie. Yeah, no, but uh, what's his face from the Chases was on as well. Mm -hmm. He was in it for. a so, what, was it, what was his name again? Bradley Walsh. Yeah. Yes. The chase, basically, the six expert professionals, and you have to answer questions, but you you have you got sort of get an idea of who of the category, I think, and so you can pick a chase that you want to go up against. Um. So you might think, oh, that this is a this is the the the, the woman will know nothing about sport, mm. right? Because she's a woman, and of course, is that a, is that an actual uh, strategy? Well, I think no, but that's like a basic one, isn't it? It's like, oh, this guy looks like uh, he likes, he knows a lot about, you know, music because he's a, you know, got got a Metallica t-shirt on or whatever. Oh, right. So I won't ask him questions about that. I'll ask someone else. 
So Bradley Walsh was on Coronation Street. He oh, was not sorry, it was Coronation Extended. Street. And just looking at his filmography, guys, I've got some big news. In 2024, they're bringing back Gladiators, and he's going to be the presenter. Wow. Bradley Walsh and his son Barney. Barney, Bradley and Barney Walsh <laughs> are going to present Gladiators. Gla gladiators, wow. With Mark Clattenburg, the former football referee, is going to be... One of the referees, I guess. Jesus. Doing the gladiators ready. Narrated by Guy fucking Mowbray. Armos oh, is going to suck. This is on the BBC. Fuck off. I, uh, Wasting watching... my money. <laughs> Have you watched um, the, uh, the, the Survivor series on, uh, on the BBC? No, no, not into it. I, I really enjoyed it. I've never watched Survivor before, and I didn't think I would like it. I didn't really... I, I remember it being on when I, was, when I was a kid, and my parents watched it and stuff, and I just mm. never... It never appealed. I never really uh, wanted to watch it. And then we started watching the, the UK one, which, as I understand, is pretty similar in theme and format to like the american ones except the Is players the just that... aren't as good because the american it... one's been going for like 45 seasons or something right. so it's Is that the one that Joe Rogan did he used to host or was that Fear Factor that he used to I host? think that might have been Fear Factor. I think the guy who hosts Survivor is the same guy who's been doing it forever. Like uh it's like Jeff something. Jeff Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. Jeff Daniels. So, so uh, I've got a few little news things this week about yeah, gaming and stuff, if you yeah, want. Yeah, Baldur's Gate on. 3 won the um, Game of the Year awards, Good. which was quite a big deal. Good. Um, E3's done. It's canceled. Yeah, E3's just, done. It's gone. People are, Poor people, bastards. People are just obsessed with uh, fucking the bear in um, Baldur's Gate. Although they got their um, they got their account banned. Larry got their account banned on TikTok when they. Uh, um, the the showed. the bear guy is not somebody I ever had in my party. He no. he kind of turned up, and I think I did things to annoy him, and left <laughs> quickly. So only two thirds of a house in romances ask him to stay in wood elf form during sex. Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! So one third of people who have sex with the druid want to fuck him in bear form. Which is I tell you what, there's right? what there's um you know the mage guy. What's his name again? Uh, Gale. Gale. There's a very funny scene that I um, that I got to when you're in the the city and you go to the brothel and there's the uh, the, the the elves the the two elves they want to have a threesome or you can have a a foursome with them and your favorite <laughs> companion so I picked Gail and uh, I mean if you don't want to play through and and see it I'm sure you can look it up on YouTube but man it's hilarious the first time I saw it I was laughing my head off it's so we, funny. you know you know since we did the Rust role play at this uh, last weekend yeah and uh, the voice actor for Gale is it Tim Tim Downey I think his name is he was in the Rust role play. no he way recorded, yeah. He recorded some lines. Oh, that's that we hilarious! Played. Yeah, it was really cool. Oh, that's and cool. the guy who was the voice of Pudge, John Patrick Lowry, he did some lines as well. Nice, them. nice. Yeah. Shout out to my Rust boys and uh, Cine for organizing. Yeah, that's great. That sounds people. really cool. Yeah, it was not an incredible event. It's been an incredible two weeks, honestly. Jingle Jam, uh, exhausting, of course, but also like just just really fun. Lots of nice people, lots of guests, lots of people coming down. You're still in the office, P Flex, today. I am here in the office. You're going home tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, I'm so, starving. I'm going to get some lunch and uh, yeah, we'll go out and get a burger together, shall we? That'd be nice. Yeah, there's so, so much like to do. So many streams I haven't I haven't watched or haven't caught up on. So many games to play, like from from the the games collection overall it's been absolutely awesome brilliant oh so good thank you for thank you for taking a special time to record this podcast today we we may not have a podcast over christmas but we'll see if we can we can find some time in our schedules to to get one for you yes our um, busy schedules thank you thank you everybody. all right we'll see you all next week Merry have christmas. a good christmas Merry goodbye, christmas. goodbye. goodbye.